My name is Miguel Garcia Gonzalez. I've been working for Flyphone for three years now, and I'm a solution architect. The CMDB is uh, the set of all the infrastructure devices, uh, software, and uh, other entities that you need to manage in order to provide services and to uh, support those services. I would call a, a CMDB strategy successful if you can trust your data. If, if you try to go too far and have all the relationships in place and, and all the difficult bits, but then you don't trust your data because one out of 10 times it's not exact, it's not accurate, then I wouldn't call that successful. I would call it successful is if at the level of maturity that you have, uh, in terms of whether if you have just all your items or all your items and the dependencies between them, you name it. But as long as you can trust uh, that data and support your processes with it, then I would call that successful. That's the, that's the goal. It needs to be reliable, it needs to be up-to-date as well, and it needs to give, the give you the information that you need to run to support your processes. It needs that fundamental data that you need to actually link uh, what you're managing with the real world. A poor strategy would be to uh, rush too much into having all the fancy uh, I try to have all the fancy benefits of a CNDB, trying to do the, the most difficult stuff without having the foundation in place. And that would look like if you have, want to have event management, but you don't have all your CAs, CIs actually discovered yet, uh, then that's going to look really bad because you're going to have unknown CIs and you're not going to, it's just not going to work. Uh, but having a good CMDB in place and having all the depend dependencies and uh, ideally mapping all that up to the service level, you will be able to tell if you're uh, having a single point of failure that where you're relying too much on one single machine uh, that could potentially fail and, and take out a whole service or multiple ones. Some of the customers, uh, of our customers that rely the most on CMDB are service providers, where they actually have to uh, ensure that the service is up and running and, and guarantee the continuity of that service. But if you don't have a good CMDB, it's uh, not humanly possible to keep track of all the devices that actually support that service. What that means is, if, if you don't have a good CMDB, it's impossible to, to manage all the physical and, and potentially non-physical um, entities that conform that, um, that, um, that actually keep that service up and running, which means that if you're a service provider, your, uh, your whole business is at risk by, by not having that in place. The best way to keep a healthy CMDB after, after Flyform steps away and you have all the tools and you have everything in place, implementation, um, most important bit is to have the people appointed, your RACI matrix in place so you know who owns uh, each, CI, uh, sorry, each CMDB or part of the CMDB. Make sure to support those people in actually having time within their day jobs to, to maintain uh, that CMDB and, and update and, and, and keep it in a healthy state and also support that even more with reporting and with a level of uh, monitoring to make sure that that CMD is healthy and, and for that you can actually use the uh, service now out of the box reporting for, for CMDB which has metrics for health which you can use to then feedback into those activities to support those people.